Volcanic eruptions can cause severe consequences for humans and other organisms. But how do volcanoes form and what type of material do they produce? I will answer those questions in today's video. Hi and welcome back! Volcanoes What you'll learn Explain how volcanoes can affect people Describe how types of materials are produced by volcanoes Compare how three different volcano forms develop How do volcanoes form? Some volcanoes form because of collision of large plates of Earth's crust and upper mantle this process has produced a string of volcanic islands, which includes Montserrat. These islands are forming as plates made up of oceanic crust and mantle collide. The older and denser oceanic plate subducts or sinks beneath the less dense plate. When one plate sinks under another plate rock in and above the sinking plate melts, forming chambers of magma. This magma is the source of volcanic eruptions that had formed the Caribbean islands. Souffert Hills volcano is on the island of Montserrat was considered dormant until recently. However, in 1995, Souffert Hills volcano surprised its inhabitants with explosive activity. In July 1995, plumps of ash soared to heights of more than 10,000 meters. This ash covered the capital city of Plymouth and many other villages. Every aspect of a once calm tropical life changed when the volcano erupted. Blowing avalanches and hot boiling mud flows destroyed villages and shut down the main harbor of the island and its airport. During activity on July 3, 1998, volcanic ash reached heights of more than 14,000 meters. This ash settled over the entire island and was followed by mud flows brought on by heavy rains. Pyroclastic flows are another hazard for inhabitants of Montserrat. They can occur any time on any side of the volcano. Pyroclastic flows are massive avalanches of hot, glowing rock flowing on a cushion of intensively hot gases. Speeds at which these flows travel can reach 200 km per hour. More than one half of Montserrat have been converted to a barren wasteland by the volcano. Virtually all of the farmland is now usable, and most of the island's business and leisure centers are gone. Many of the inhabitants of the island have been evac evacuated to England, surrounding islands or northern Montserrat, which is considered safe from volcanic activity. A volcanic risk map for Montserrat was prepared to warn inhabitants and visitors about unsafe areas on the island. Types of volcanoes Volcanoes can cause great destruction. However, volcanoes also add new rocks to Earth's crust with each eruption. The way volcanoes add this new material to Earth's surface was greatly. Different types of eruption produce different types of volcanoes. Shield volcanoes. Basaltic lava, which is high in iron and magnesium and low in silica, flows in broad flat layers. The build-up of basaltic layers forms a broad volcano with gently sloping sides called a shield volcano. Are the largest type of volcano. They form where magma is being forced up from extreme depths within Earth, or in areas where Earth plates are moving apart. Cinder cone volcanoes. Rising magma accumulates gases on its way to the surface. When the gas builds out enough pressure, it erupts. 
moderate to violent eruptions through volcanic ash, cinders, and lava high into the air. The lava cools quickly in mid-air and the particles of solidified lava, ash, and cinders fall back to Earth. This tephra forms a relative small cone of volcanic material, called a cinder cone volcano. Cinder cones are usually less than 300 meters in height and often form in groups near other large volcanoes. Because the eruption is powered by the high gas content, it usually doesn't last long. After the gas is released, the force behind the eruption is gone. Sunset Crater is an example of a cinder cone near Flagstaff, Arizona. Composite Volcanoes Step-sided mountains composed of alternating layers of lava and tephra are composite volcanoes. They sometimes erupt violently, releasing large quantities of ash and gas. This forms a tephra layer of solid material. Then, a quieter eruption forms a lava layer. Composite volcanoes form where one plate sinks beneath another. Sefer Hills Volcano is an example of a composite volcano. Another volcanic eruption from a composite volcano was the May 1980 eruption of Mount St. Helens in the state of Washington. It erupted explosively, spewing ash that fell on ridges hundreds of kilometers away from the volcano. Fissure eruptions. Magma that is highly fluid can ooze from cracks of fissures in Earth's surface. This is a type of magma that usually is associated with fissure eruptions. The lava that erupts have a low viscosity, which means it can flow freely across the line to form flood basalts. Flood basalts that have been exposed to erosion for millions of years can become larger, relatively flat landforms known as lava plateaus. I hope you found this video useful, thanks for watching and until the next one, bye!